Killer or killers are on the loose. Police have gotten many tips from dozens of people, but it's still a mystery this morning. A mass shooting 80 miles east of Cincinnati in Pike County, Ohio, has rocked a community to its core. These shootings happened at four different homes. WLWT News 5 investigative reporter Todd Dykes has the latest on the investigation. There's no indication at all that any of these individuals killed themselves. I mean, this is just not not what has happened. We, we, we have a murder or murderers uh, who have done this. During a late night news conference, Ohio's Attorney General and Pike County's Sheriff both said this small community in southeastern Ohio has experienced a terrible tragedy. Never have we lost uh, so many people to a, uh, a murderer or murderers in this county. Never, never eight people at one time. Seven adults and one 16 year old boy were shot execution style either overnight or early this morning at four separate crime scenes. Three small children survived, including a four day old baby. During a news conference earlier in the day, Mike DeWine said the fact children were involved makes what happened even more difficult to comprehend. I think what makes this particularly grisly uh, is the fact that you have these, these children involved uh, who obviously were there when the executions took place. There's still no word of a motive, and police will only say the victims were all members of the Roden family of Pike County. Both Sheriff Reeder and the Attorney General met with about 100 members of the family to explain where the investigation stands. This is a devastating time for, for a family to learn that uh, they've lost so many members. Devastating for the Roden family and for everyone who values Pike County for its peace and tranquility. Todd Dykes reporting for us. While no one's in custody, Attorney General Mike DeWine says about 30 people have been interviewed by detectives. He says those interviews will continue until the killer is caught.